Warning. This video is demonstration and educational purpose only. Mishandling life main voltage may cause injuries to body or death. Inexperienced person or electrical student, do not try this work at home or anywhere. Always call professional electrician or certified electrician to do the electrical work. Welcome to Easy Electrical Fix. This is 0.5 horsepower single phase water pump which is going to install with the wiring from the main distribution board and the plumbing at the house water tank. Let's do it. First things first, for the water pump, I'm going to do a surface casing wiring from the main distribution board and also going to install 20M switch to on and off the water pump. Using the hammer drill with 10mm drill bit, make a drill hole from the top of the house ceiling. Now the drill hole is made for the wiring and can clearly see the hole from the other side of the wall. Use cutter and cut the 1 inch wiring casing in desired length and hammer the wiring casing on the wall from the drill hole to the main distribution board. For the 20M switch, place the switch beside another switch and run the casing to the main distribution board. Drill two holes for the PVC nut box on the wall then screw the nut box using the quarters drill. Then hammer one each wiring casing on the wall from the PVC nut box to the main distribution board. For the 0.5 horsepower water pump, use 2.5 mm copper insulated cable, red for life wire, black for neutral wire, and green for earth wire. Twist the end of the three cables and insert the wire into the drill hole continuously. Once the wires reach other side of the wall inside the top of the house ceiling, and pull the wires for the desired length. Put flexible conduit pipe into the wires and insert the flexible conduit pipe into the drill hole inside. Insert the remaining length of wires into the PVC conduit pipe. Push the wire into the PVC conduit pipe until reached at the house water tank place. Install PVC nut box on the wooden beam together with the PVC elbow joint and run the wires into it. Do the wiring connection for the 13M socket life neutral earth terminal at the socket and screw the terminal tightly. Install the socket to the PVC nut box then put the socket cover and the wiring is done to the house water tank place. The water pump socket wire from the water tank must go to the 20M switch at the main distribution board. At the same time, add another life neutral earth wire to the 20M switch PVC nut box to the main distribution board terminals. Arrange the neutral wire to the neutral terminal, earth wire to the earth terminal, and life wire to the MCB with 20M's current rating. And insert the main wires into the 20M switch to the PVC nut box. Use cutter and cut the 1 inch wiring casing cover and install the casing cover after run the wires into the casing. At the 20M switch, connect the load terminal to the water pump socket wires and connect the line terminal to the main wires to the main distribution board. Then put back the 20M switch into the PVC nut box and screw it tightly. Then put back the switch cover and the 20M switch wiring connection is done. At the main distribution board, connect the neutral wire to the neutral terminal and connect the earth wire to the earth terminal. Make sure connect the right wire to the correct terminal. Connect wrong wire may cause faulty in wiring. Next, connect the life wire to the MCB with 20 amps current rating which is suitable for 0.5 horsepower water pump. All the terminal connection at the main distribution board must connect tightly so it won't have a loose contact. The water pump socket wiring is complete. Now turn on the electric supply and the 20 amp switch and it's working. Next, let's do the water pump plumbing. Before do the plumbing, make sure the water tank must be empty. At the water tank, there's three outlets supply water to the whole house. So we need to permanently close two outlet and use only one inlet to the water pump. Use pipe cutter and cut the water outlet pipe slowly and smoothly. Then use pipe glue and apply all around the pipe at the end of it. Make sure there's no dirt or rough surface on the pipe which the pipe glue may not stick properly. After that, install the end cap for outlet pipe to permanently close and also apply pipe glue around the end cap to stick better so it won't leak the water. Use white tape and wrap around the pipe fitting. Wrap the pipe fitting with white tape thicker so it won't leak the water when water pump runs. Screw the pipe fitting to the water pump inlet and outlet and screw it tightly to prevent water leak. The water pump pipe fitting size is 20 mm or 3 quarter inch but the water tank pipe size is 15 mm or 1 and half inch. Both water pump and the water tank pipe size is different. In that case, need a pipe fitting reducer to join the water pump pipe and the water tank pipe. Now take 20 mm or 3 quarter size plumbing pipe and apply the pipe glue around it. Then take 20 mm to 15 mm pipe fitting reducer and apply the pipe glue inside the pipe fitting. 
Make sure to apply the pipe glue more for better seal at the pipe joint. Next, join the reducer and the pipe together by pressing harder and let it dry for a minute. To make it easy, I done the inlet plumbing from the water tank, goes to the reducer, then goes to the water pump inlet. In the middle, there's a bypass valve installed between the water pump inlet and outlet which I will talk about its function later. After that, join the water pump outlet to the house water outlet pipe which supply water to the whole house. Total 3 house water outlet pipe join together to supply water from the water pump outlet. So the plumbing work is done, so let's test the water pump. Before that, fill up the water tank with enough level of water. Next, turn on the inlet valve at the water tank. Now plug in the water pump to the socket and turn on. Now the water pump is running and there's no water leaking at the pipe joint. And let's see the water pump indicator. There is three indicator at the water pump. Power on means the water pump in standby mode. Pump on means the water pump is running. When water pump having a issue in pressure difference or having a fault, the failure indicator light will glow up in red. To reset, just press the red button, then the pump will restart again. Now the water pump is working perfectly fine without a water leak. The blue tray is installed on top of the water pump for the purpose is like overflow tray. If the water leak happen at the water pump, the water will fill the blue tray and will flow to the pipe joint to the overflow pipe. While the water pump run, the house bathroom, the water flow at the water tap sink is faster as before. And the pressure is medium which is great for the water pipe size, 15 mm or half inch size installed in the whole house can handle this kind of pressure. To simulate if electricity failure or water pump failure happen, turn off the water pump and open the bypass valve. What this bypass valve will do is, it will redirect the water supply from the water tank to the water outlet pipe which supply the water to the whole house. In bypass mode, the water pressure will return to normal pressure and the water still can use without the water pump for certain period of time. This bypass valve is very useful whenever electricity blackout or the water pump failure happen. If the water pump failure fix or get back electric supply, turn on the water pump and the water pressure from the water pump will get back to medium pressure. This is how the bypass valve will work. As always, the water pump wiring and the plumbing installation is done and is successful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Comment down below if you have questions about electrical or electrical content video you want me to do. Share with friends and family and your support matters. See you again in next electrical project.